Hi everyone, hope you are having a great week. Uh, to make this double slider card, we need 3 11 cross 11 cm pattern papers and 1 10 cross 10 cm pattern paper. Along with that, uh, we will need 1 cm wide plastic strips. Two figures that you like to stick, I have used Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and two 1 cm by 7 cm paper strips. First, I'm going to take uh, 11 plus 11 centimeter pattern paper. This paper will be the front of our card, and I'm going to mark 1 centimeter from both the sides, and then I'll join them. Now I'm going to make a mark uh, at 3.5 cm and another mark at 7.5 cm on both the lines and then I'll join these marks and this is going to uh, form a rectangle. Now I'm going to cut out this rectangle using my paper trimmer. Now I'm taking another 11 by 11 cm pattern paper and I'll trace my rectangle uh, over the paper so that I'll get a rough idea uh, about the position of my rectangle. I'll be sticking my paper strips on this rectangle Now uh, I'm marking 1.5 cm from top and bottom on that paper strip and this is going to leave me with a 4 cm space on the paper strip On that 4 cm space I am going to stick my figures I'm going to do this for both the strips Now I'm taking my strip and placing it over that rectangle The middle portion of the strip uh, will come on one side of the rectangle and I'm tracing out the edge of the strip outside of that uh, rectangle so there will be total 4 slits this step is a little bit tricky These are the four slits that we have drawn and and I have cut them out using my paper trimmer. Now I am going to stick my figures on the white strips in the middle portion of the strip that 4 cm space. So I have pasted my mini mouse and on the other strip I am pasting my mickey mouse. The important thing here is to uh, align them properly. Now let's just erase the pencil marks. Now I'm marking the center of my rectangle. And I'll draw a line joining these points. This will be a uh, the mark till where I'm going to make my next slit. So I've 
creating uh, one more slit here from the edge of the rectangle to the center of the rectangle I'll cut out these slits using my paper trimmer I'll now insert my plastic strip between these two slits. Trim off the extra strip. The point here to note is that we have to stick the strip such in such a way that it should not be too loose and it should not be too tight. There should be some space for it to move around. I'm going to stick these strips together using the sided tape. I'll do the same for the bottom slits also. Now I'm going to stick my uh, white strip on one side um, of these slits. I'm putting my double sided tape on the edge of the plastic strip. Another white strip, uh, for this we will have to insert it inside the horizontal slit that we created. So I am taking my strip over the plastic sheet here and I will paste it on that plastic sheet using double sided tape. Make sure to check the position of the strip before sticking it because we want to align the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Now I'm taking my 10 cross 10 cm pattern paper and I'm going to round its edges but it's totally optional I'm going to stick this paper um, on the back side of my previous pattern paper and on the same position where I pasted my uh, Mickey Mouse figure so I'm putting double sided tape here Now 
will paste the front side of our card on this pattern paper I am using a double sided tape here stick both the papers so now you can see that we have made this lighter card to give it a finished look uh, I'm going to put double sided tape on the back of the paper and I'm going to uh, paste a 11 plus 11 centimeter cardstock here you can uh, paste cardstock uh, to give it more strength or if you're going to paste it on another sheet of paper you can use any simple paper as well now I've added a huge little arrow in the center and a tiny strips of heart and bottom sticker lovely so this is it thank you guys for watching